we're going to take these shapes here and divide them into four equal shares. Now when we divide these into four equal shares, it's called dividing the shapes into fourths, or you could say that you are dividing the shapes into quarters. Quarters is another word for fourths. And you might think the money is also called quarters. Well, that's because four of those are equal to a dollar. Let's look at the different ways we could split shapes into fourths or quarters. Starting with the rectangle at the top. First thing you can do is you could break it in half going vertically and then half going horizontally. And when you do that, you could see that you now have one, two, three, four equal shares. We just broke that shape into fourths. Now what's important about breaking shapes into fourths is not that you split them into four pieces, but that you split them into four equal pieces based on the area. So I could see here that one-fourth, this top left fourth, takes up the same amount of space as any of the others. Let's try a different method of breaking up the bottom one. I could break this rectangle in half originally, and then I could break it in half to the left and half to the right. And once again, I could see that I have one, two, three, four equal shares. I broke this into fourths or quarters. If I were to shade in two of these, I could say that this shape is shaded two fourths or that two quarters of the shape is shaded in. Now the last one we'll look at is the circle. And the easiest way to break the circle into force is to first break it into halves, up and down, and then break it across. Now as, I, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four equal pieces in terms of area. Each of those four quarters takes up the same amount of space. So to shade in one would mean I'd shade in one-fourth or one-quarter of the shape. That's how you break different shapes into fourths or quarters with equal areas.